I disagree with the answer. You're saying nothing, nothing cannot create itself. Right? I agree with that. Okay, good. Let's, let's move on. Can it create itself? No, 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 no. But I disagree with the idea that there is a god that has used like the god. So good, good. Okay. So, on, what's the alternative? That's what I'm saying. What is the alternative to this now? Are you saying that God creates something out of nothing? So yes. Nothing apart from God yes, I agree with that. Because why Allah says? But why can God create something out of nothing? Because the Creator always existed. Do you know the, the Creator is all powerful. He can't. No, no, no. We don't. We don't use the term infinite. We don't know. We don't say the Creator is infinite. What we say that the Creator always existed. Always existed, right? We don't use the term infinity. We don't. We don't. Why can the universe? Why can the Creator always exist, but the universe can't exist? Because the universe has a beginning. How do you know? The Big Bang. No, no, no. But I'm saying according to no, no, good. No, I'm using no, no. I'm using no, 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 no. You misunderstood. I'm going. So look, look, look. First of all, there's scientific evidence, and you have rational evidence. Scientific evidence, according to the cosmolog uh, according to cosmologists, they say that the universe has a beginning, which is the Big Bang. The rational evidence is everything we experience in the universe has a beginning. You know that. So how can the universe existed all the time? The tree is part of the universe. We're part of the universe. Does not say that there was nothing. It says the Big Bang, Big Bang theory is that the universe as it is now yeah. was busted into an extremely small space and eventually it exploded. Right? Okay, no problem. For the sake of argument, for the sake even of argument. Then, the so that matter, Bang, that still there. right. So that matter, without any external force, without any external influence, can that matter bring into existence by itself? That's that's what the Quran is asking you. That's what, no, but you're saying that there's always a God. I'm saying why could that matter not have always been there in the same way? But I'm a, no, no, no. There? But I'm asking you that. Look, you see, science, the scientific, the science, is the explanation of all the contingent things, all the physical things, right? You cannot go beyond that. In my mind, you you mind don't have to go into God philosophy. You said tangible things can't exist forever, so I'm going to come up with something intangible. But I'm not saying God is tangible or intangible. We don't use that terminology. We don't use that. What we say that. Uh, Almighty God, He is one and only, absolute, eternal, self-sufficient. He begets not, nor is He begotten. There's nothing not unto Him. No, I'm not. Look, look. No, no, no. In, we don't use in our, in our theology. In our theology, we don't use these terms. The reason why, because it's not affirmed in the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet. What we do say is that Allah is the originator. He's the original heavens and the earth. That the Creator, Al Awwal Wal Akhir. He is the first and the last. Allah is Al Qadir. He's all powerful. Allah is one and only. Allah is self-sufficient. He doesn't uh, meaning that everything depends upon Him, but He doesn't depend yeah, on anything. I go back to the same point. Why can't the universe have existed? Because everything that everything that you experience in the universe, you know, there's a beginning. This tree, you know, there's a beginning. The grass, you know, there's a beginning. I don't exist. I'm talking about the universe itself. But we are part of the universe. Of course. So every so so. Allah is not part of the universe. No. Allah Again, is so Allah is saying, above the heavens. Yes. Okay. So you get, so you give me a solution how we can have beginning of existence forever. How? Prove to me. Let's let's look at your let's look at your. I can I can prove to you. I can. Let, 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 let me give you. Let me. No 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 no. I'm not. I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you. You're, you're in existence. You yourself is a proof of God's existence. Imagine this. If I was to ask you, you know, you came from, you know, infinite ancestors. Infinite ancestors. Your parents, then your parents, your parents, then parents, then parents, parents. Okay. Right. Would you ever exist? Would you ever exist? Right. So your own existence, you have parents, right? You have grandparents. Can you have infinite? Or there has to be a stopping point. No, you can't have Thank you. There has to be a stopping point. Yeah, so, 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 the, so yeah. I'm not talking about evolution. I'm talking about evolution. No, 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 no. No, I'm not talking about evolution. I'm talking about our lineage, our ancestors. But our lineage no, is directly. We are. We evolved from different ancestors. No, 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 no. We eventually became human. No, no, no. And became us. No. So about even for the sake of argument. Even right. for the sake of argument, you say you evolved from monkeys. I don't believe in that. Right, okay. okay, fine. Can you have infinite? No. So Thank you. So, so there has to, so, so there has, so there has to be the first. The first thing was a single cell organism. We do not know how that came into existence. Thank you. There's different theories. Thank you. There's different theories. So there's constant fluctuation. There's a whole range of theories. Science cannot explain. Science cannot explain. Science, cannot explain. Science, can, no, no, no. Science, science can never. Trying, science is trying. Science, 
Science, science can right. never. You may be wrong. No, science. science is trying to explain. Science, what you've done, science can never. Got something intangible. You got a religion. You no. said this created it. You can't prove that. Yasha, yeah, sure. science can never ever explain how did the first cell come to exist. They can never. They can only explain the mechanism. They cannot give you the reason. They cannot. So if science, okay. so if science can because science doesn't delve into metaphysical things. They only delve into things that is within the physical world. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What I'm saying to you is, you're using, you're saying that science can come to an explanation. How did the first cell come? But science, science doesn't. If the first cell did not come through metaphysical means, then you can explain it through scientific means. If the first cell did come through metaphysical means, then you are correct. But my point is, we don't know whether the first cell came from metaphysics. What does metaphysics mean? What does it mean? Can science prove metaphysical? Yeah. No, no, no. Beyond physics, metaphysics being like it was right. So, 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 so that's what I'm saying. Universe. That's what I'm saying. So if the first, if the first uh, organism in the world yes. was created through metaphysical means, then yes, you are correct. Science cannot explain it. Yeah. Yeah. However, that's no, it. But the unknown. But if the first organism came through, came into existence through scientific means, it cannot. It cannot. No, it cannot. It cannot because there's because there's. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, so hang on, hang on. Yasha, because there's nothing before the first. No, 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 so That's what I'm saying. So, so, so wait, 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 wait. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Look, look, look. Do you know any look. Truth? We're talking about the origin. We're talking about the origin of the first matter. That's what we're asking so, you. I know what you're saying, right? But it was the same when you were talking about infinity. It's, I would, you ask me questions related to maths that I don't understand. I don't know maths to that level. I'm not. You, no, no, no. We've moved on. I, I asked you. Can you have? No, 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 can you have infinite ancestors? No, no, no. It's not that. Physics goes beyond what I understand. Right? I no. don't understand. No, no. I don't understand certain branches of physics. I don't know enough. There's, quant there's quantum level physics. There's string theory. There's a whole array. So Yasha, we've all due respect. Yasha, we've all due respect. We've all due respect. What you're telling me is you're you're not certain about anything. That's what you're saying. You know what? I'm not certain about anything. I'm saying I'm not certain as to our origin. But do you but do you acknowledge that you have an origin? Of course. Right. So you cannot say the universe always existed then. Because he has an origin, he has a starting point. I as a person have an origin. You cannot say that the universe always I am not the universe. I am in the universe, yes. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. That does not mean that the universe had an origin in the same no, way. No, no, you, no, no, no. You are part of the universe. That's what I'm saying. Even, even the stars, the stars, don't they die? Don't they die? And then there's a birth, death, birth, death, right? Right. right. So there's a beginning. Everything has a beginning in the universe. So I'm asking you, if there's a beginning, yeah. why does it have a, why did it exist? There has to be a will. So what we say is Almighty God willed for this universe to exist. Because it is nothing but okay. potential you existence. Cannot, one, you cannot prove the existence of a God. And I, I, okay. No, no, with this, I understand that. You're yeah. never going to prove God. You have to believe in God, right? No, no, I can prove to you God. Because the rational proofs. Look, think about this. The proof is, first of all, your own existence. Your own, existence, own existence is a proof. Yeah, okay, prove to me gravity exists. We don't understand gravity. No, 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 no. There's, there is a huge amount of things I, I, that I'm we not don't understand. No, no, no. I'm not talking about whether you understand gravity or not. Do you acknowledge there is gravity? So, again, with gravity, gravity is extremely complicated. We do not... No, no, no. To, to no, no. Yasha, Yasha, gravity, Yasha, please, please, please. Yasha, Yasha, please, Yasha, please, please. With all due respect, and I'm sorry to... I'm not here to interrogate you. No, 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 no. You can... You can no, no, this is ask a question. Thank thing. you, Yasha. Yes, Thank you, Yasha. Look. What I'm asking you, I'm not talking about the complexity of the gravity. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying, I I'm can saying do you... Something. So, look, I can acknowledge that there's something keeping me on this ground and we feel that gravity. Right. However, I cannot say I know anything about... Can you about see gravity? gravity? No. I cannot say I know anything about gravity. No, no, I'm not talking about... No, 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 no. Yasha, Yasha. No, no, I'm not talking... I'm, you, no, Yasha, Yasha. No, no, no. Do you, do, you, do you affirm that gravity exists? I affirm that... Again, there is something keeping me down to this gravity. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about beyond gravity. I'm asking you, do you believe in gravity? Yes. Okay, brilliant. So, but you say that you cannot see gravity, correct? Yes. We can only see the effects of gravity. Right. So, the effects or the signs of God's creator, of the existence of God is around us. But we don't That's exactly the point. Like I said, we do not understand gravity in the same way we don't understand whether or not there's a gravity. Do you know why we don't understand gravity? Because we have limited senses. Yeah, we have limited observation. We have limited senses, right. but we also have limited information. 
Yeah, of course, course I agree with you. I, I agree with you. I agree with you, which and is the, the reason. The more we know, the more we will yeah. understand things yeah. like gravity. However, gravity is something very, very like real to us. Yeah. It's keeping us on this planet. You're saying, and which is the reason why you can. Have, which, this, yeah. This conversation that I'm having to you, it's not even related to Islam. It's literally. I'm I know. Arguing against all religions. I know. I know. I know that. I'm, I'm not even talking about Islam. Okay, We're yeah. talking about whether there's yeah. the Creator or not. So going into like whether Islam is the right religion or not, that's a whole other debate. But as it stands, you cannot. I don't think you can compare gravity to a god. Yes, we can't see either of them. Yes, we see... No, but I'm using your yardstick. If you, if you believe that gravity exists and you cannot see gravity, but it affects, why can't you apply the same to the Creator then? Why do we need to see the Creator to know if the Creator exists? Why can't we postulate that the Creator exists by just looking at our own creation because around us? Gravity, I don't like you. That's a good, that's a good point. So I, I, I do need to look into no, this. No, absolutely. But I'd say the same. Gravity is something very, very, very poorly understood by us right now. Right? We know very, very little about it. I know, I agree with you. I agree with you. And I agree. Gravity, therefore, is the name that we have given to something that we don't fully understand. I agree. We have given the name gravity to the force that keeps us down. Okay, let's talk about the mechanism. Okay, so you agree there's a mechanism. That's what I was saying yeah. earlier, God, yeah. what, it's just a name that we've given to something that we don't understand. I'm not understand. talking about the name. I'm, I'm, no, I'm talking about the concept. Forget about the name. Look, look, look. Forget about Allah. Forget. Oh, sorry, sorry. Forget about. No, no. Forget about Allah. Forget about Elohim. That's the name. I'm talking about the concept, the attributes. Look, look. We, we as Muslims, we believe that Allah has 99 names and attributes that's affirmed in the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet. Right? We affirm that one of his attributes that he's the Creator, Al Khaliq. One of his attributes is Al Khabir, that he's all aware. One of his attributes is Al Qadir, he's all powerful. One of his attributes is all knowing. So that's what I'm trying to postulate here, that this, the universe cannot exist unless somebody willed for this universe to exist. Somebody must have the knowledge to bring the universe to existence. Somebody have the power. So 